You see these waves coming in and a boat goes by and the waves just come a bit, up a bit further. You just think, you know what? Those same waves are causing a lot of grief somewhere along this river because those waves are just pushing things over the edge for somebody, I'm sure. historic photographs uh, because this is a really bad flood. So the boats behind me, there's one from Port Hawkesbury, which is near Cape Breton, one from Dartmouth, and two from uh, St. John area. They just came down, uh, prior to the Coast Guard, just came down to uh, help out here. The waves just come a bit, up a bit further, and you just think, you know what? Those same waves are causing a lot of grief. boats in the water. Uh, second one's about to be put in. What's symbolic of this is back in 2008 they also put uh, the boats in the water but uh, their role is going to be basically traveling up and down the St. John River just checking in on people and handling any emergencies if they come up. So behind me there's a whole community that's cut off uh, from flooding. The road's completely cut off, but there's a train track. And what they're doing is they have a truck up here that can travel on train tracks. And he's traveling back and forth, helping people out, uh, getting people out of the uh, evacuated area. And uh, yeah, it's been, uh, there's a great sense of uh, people here that are just willing to help out. And uh, they're willing to do whatever it takes. Thank you. 